Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week we are going to be reviewing the software that was sold by Belly and Red Billion. Specifically we are going to be looking at the MT5 system that they were selling. And from previous videos you would have picked up that they both sold the same sort of software. And they were the ones to sort of popularize that sort of software. And over Instagram you can find it in many other places. That's not to say that they are the creators of the software that they were selling. It's just that they are the ones that are most popular for it. Just something that I would like to bring up with Red Billion specifically. As you can see here, uh, it's saying that your settings for the software that he is selling needs to be changed from N3 to N4. Now, I don't think this means much. What I do think it is, is the same thing that many other people do when less people start to buy their sort of software. That's when they quote unquote change something and make it so that the people that already have the software need to repurchase it or purchase an add-on so that it quote unquote works again. So that's all I think this is. I think just less people are buying the systems and he's trying to get some more money from it. On to the actual software. So from what you can see here, uh, the software is pretty similar to the last software. Only that it doesn't include those arrows that we are used to. But it does include a longer line on the Bukuretsuko bar patterns. So with this sort of system, as we did last time, the way that it works is that you sell where it's red, so on a bearish engulfing, bear cross and so on, and you'd buy where it is green, like over there, where you can see that there's a bull cross and a bullish engulfing. So I did run a back test on the system, and I ran it in two separate ways. Way number one was where I just used every single bearish and bear cross and so on pattern for sales. And the same goes for the buys where I use all the bullish indicators for buys. And the results of that are as follows. So this first practice that I'm showing you is from when you just use the bar patterns as indications of when to buy and sell. The take profit I used was 10,000 pips and the stop loss was around 5,000 and the time frame that was used was the 15 minute time frame. And since this is MT5 software I used it on VIX75 which is one of the more popular charts to be using. Now take note that this backtest only lasted a week and is not a complete month. And that's just because the volume of trades that you can get in a week is quite large. So when using this, I actually didn't just go in blindly. I did sort of use a system that included both the chart patterns and the Fibonacci that comes with one of the indicators. So when using that strategy, what I did was I had to wait until the chart was in such a way that the next bar that had the bar pattern on it was located close to a Fibonacci line and if it was to break through or reject from that line I would place a trade. So over here we can see there are breakthroughs and this is where your buys would be. So here you buy and then 10,000 pips later you would buy over here again after it breaks there so you buy there. And for sales it was very similar. So like you can see over here, the chart is rejecting from the Fibonacci area over here. And that means that we sell here and we take profit 10,000 pips later. So for the first practice, that's basically the strategy that I was using. And the results are as follows. So as you can see at the bottom over here that we came out with a win rate of 60% with 24 profitable trades out of the 40, leaving us with losing trades of 16. And overall, it gave us a profit of $160, which roughly translates to 2,320 Rand. So when using the first strategy, which is just buying and selling wherever you see a chart pattern appear, I would have only rated the system at say a five out of 10, since the 
chart does get a bit messy with all of the chart patterns having those extended lines so it makes it very cluttered on your charts when there are say three or four lines in one small area so it makes it difficult for you to place your trades so in order to combat the confusion that comes with multiple lines on the chart I did use a second method and the second method was when you actually waited for your structures to form and I'll show you an example of that now so for the second method this is a demonstration your first low would be this one over here and then the confirmation of structure would be your second low which would be over here so after these two lows have completed a third low appears and this is where you place your first trade and that confirms the sort of structure from going downwards to now an upwards trend so then you have three trades in a row over here so only after these two have given you your structure do you move on to the next three trades as your actual trades for sales it's a similar story so as you can see right here this first one is the high and then the next one is the confirmation so only after this next one i see that they are equal highs and then these equal highs lead me to sell here so after the sell over there i take profit at 10,000 pips around there somewhere and then i take another trade once this appears you will notice that oftentimes the fibonacci links up with the chart patterns that come out but when you're using structure the fibonacci doesn't really matter too much but it is good as a sort of third confirmation when you're using your structure points so just to repeat these first two are only to establish the trend so because this low is lower than this low you can see it's moving towards a downtrend and this high is sort of equal to the second high over here and then from there we can establish that a sell trade in this area would be more beneficial than a buy trade because even though the chart could be in a downtrend you still have the chart patterns for buy trades coming out and you might get confused by that so that's why you only focus on the sell trades so when using the structure as a sort of strategy the results are as follows still using the VIX 75 chart on the 15 minute time frame with the same take profit and stop loss the lot size that was being used was 0.01 so if we can just scroll down we can see our win rate over here the win rate for the system has now increased from 60% to 73.68% well over a week and the profitable trades are now 28 to a losing trade amount of 10 so this difference gives us a total profit of around $230 which roughly translates to around 3,335 Rand for the week and as we can see over here the previous one was around 2,300 and the new one is 3,300 so that is almost a 1,000 Rand difference between the two strategies so if you are looking to use the system i do recommend using the structure system we do look for your lower highs when you're trying to sell and your higher lows when you're trying to buy because it does increase your chances of winning by 13 percent and it could have a major impact on your profits so with the structure strategy that i showed you just now and the updated win rate that you saw I would give the system a 7.5 out of 10 since it does work enough of the time for you to make a decent profit for the week as you saw the 70% win rate was an improvement on the previous 60% win rate and that is why we aren't going to give it the initially stated 5 out of 10 so right now we are at the Forex Reviews SA YouTube channel if you'd like more content such as this please subscribe the templates and indicators that's used in the belly slash red billion mt5 system can be found in the ryan gates code system video 
all you need to do is click into that video and then in the description you will find the link to the Google Drive from there you are taken to the Google Drive we are greeted with the indicators folder and the templates folder inside here are your indicators as seen on the chart and this template just makes it easier for you to place both indicators on the chart at once thank you for watching this week's video goodbye